If you've been using Mac and wondering how to clean up the drive and optimize it, whether you are a tech savvy user or not, instructions in this video are simple to learn, easy to follow, and safe to perform for users of all ages. In fact, you can save this video and make it a monthly routine for your MacBook, iMac, MacBook Pro Air, whatever. And just as importantly, I will show you in this video what you should avoid doing on your Mac in the name of optimization or cleanup. If you mostly use sleep mode on your iMac or MacBooks, then you must know the background processes can still stay active for weeks. A simple restart clears all stuck tasks and allows pending system processes to finish. So I recommend restarting Mac every 10 days or a couple of weeks. If your Mac is always on, used in a clamshell mode or connected to external monitors, then a monthly restart is still very healthy. You installed an app a couple of years back. You don't even use it anymore, but you don't know it's crawling in the background. It is consuming significant amount of memory and energy. Therefore, it is really important to check every month what is running automatically as soon as you turn your Mac on. The process is very simple. Click on Apple icon, get to system settings. Under general, on right, navigate to login items and extensions. In this window, at the very top, you're going to see the login items. Any app you see here unnecessarily running at this startup, you should check and remove. You should check and remove. Right below, you will see app background activities. These are the apps can run sync update in the background. So you should go ahead and disable the apps you do not allow to run in the background. You may have to validate your Mac administrator password to go through that. These apps and background processes quietly consume CPU, memory, and even battery. This is not about obsessing over free space on your Mac. Macs start to slow down when the storage pressure builds, even before the drive is completely full. Therefore, every month review large unused apps, old installers in the downloads folder, forgotten screen recordings, and the big files you no longer need. You don't need a huge free space on your Mac. You just need to ensure the 20% of drive is empty. If 20% is not empty, it is time for you to be too choosy. Drop anything or everything that is not necessary to be on your Mac. If you need further guidance, type me in the comments, need help with 20% and I will share further instructions with you. App updates matter more than people realize. We ignore the updates. We simply reject them times even if the prompts are there on the screen. But believe me, it is too essential to download and install the latest updates for your apps. Mostly the updates, they fix memory leaks, compatibility issues, and background bugs. Open App Store. On the left, you will see an option Updates. Click on it and look for possible updates available for installed apps. Now, more importantly, macOS updates are really, really important and you should definitely install them. But if there is a major update available for your Mac, let's say there is an update, it's more like an upgrade available to your OS, then you should review it and give it a little extra amount of time, maybe about a few weeks before you install it so that the updates are stable and they're compatible with the apps you're using on your Mac already. Under system settings window, click on general and on right click on software update. In most cases, you will find it automatically enabled to install updates automatically. However, you can click on this I button here, automatic updates. And in this window, you need to ensure all these features are enabled. So even your apps, macOS updates or tiny patches are installed automatically for the safety of your macOS. Now check for your backups. If you have iCloud subscription already for the data backup, you need to ensure if your iCloud is syncing properly. 
If you use Time Machine to back up your Mac on the external SSD or hard drive, then you need to confirm if the last backup actually completed. A backup drive that has not run recently gives a false sense of security. And a backup that is not recent is not a backup. Now let's focus on the activities that majority of users do in the name of Mac optimization. You necessarily don't need a Mac optimizer or cleanup tool. Latest macOS, like macOS Tahoe, they are set to do that basic optimization on their own. Clearing caches regularly on your Mac ultimately hurts its performance more than it helps. In fact, most of these tools, they keep running in the background all the time. Many users I have seen going in a panic mode when they feel their Mac is sluggish, they start removing the data, deleting the files and folders from any directory. Please stop doing that. Do not delete your macOS files or files inside library unless you have a clean instructions from a professional. In other words, deleting files manually can break permissions, cause app instability, and also lead to update failures. Resetting SMC or NVRAM is not a part of maintenance. These are troubleshooting tools for a specific type of problems. An NVRAM reset is barely ever needed. Therefore, when it comes to Mac optimization, stop pushing the power button for better performance. Modern MacBooks manage battery health intelligently. Constantly micromanaging the charge levels does not extend its lifespan. On latest MacBooks with the latest macOS, battery health drops with the age and the heat, not just charging habits. Under system settings, click on battery, and where you see at the very top battery health normal, click on this I button and you need to always ensure the optimized battery charging is on. And that's it. Now you can use your Mac normally and let the system handle the rest. Despite telling you everything, if you don't remember anything else, then remember this. Once a month, restart your Mac. Review login items and background apps. Check storage health. Update apps. Confirm backups. That's it. No cleaning apps required. No aggressive tweaks needed. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe Crazy Editors for future tech tips, tricks and solutions. Also type me in the comment, what is the one thing you will stop doing on your Mac after watching this video? Now if you have a Mac that's performing sluggish already, then these instructions are not going to be that impactful. Therefore, you should go ahead and watch out this video wherein you can do a deep optimization and restore most of its performance. Once again, thank you for watching Crazy Editors. Until next time, you take care of yourself and I will see you in the next one.